Okay, seeing this video today inspired me to make a bit of a thing regarding Singamo meters. And a new meter collector on the web is also called Electrical 003. And he's just started this his first two electricity meters. And uh, he's going to make a video about the Singamo S231. I just went through the archives today um, after I saw the video from Electro 0003 and uh, so I'll put a little bit more information on the S2 on the 31 and found some of my older brochures and this is just heaven to read actually these older brochures I love, to be honest I love printed matter, expanded, exploded views of meters um, really interesting and this is history that's all yeah, slowly disappearing that was the S301 series, here we've got the S29 series, same, I've got uh, in expanded uh, view of meters in here. How the meter works, these type of drawings, that is just uh, fantastic. 29 form 3, then I've got the S2, S231 here, and the remote register, which I'll have featured in another video. So we're going to concentrate on this one at the moment. Model S231. Hopefully the camera picks up the text. Improved driving torque. The driving torque has been improved by the introduction of a thicker disc. Float on magnetic bearing. Float on bearing system in which the disc rotates on a magnetic cushion. It has been the reliability eliminates wear and ensures sustained accuracy. performance curves of the meters in the different loads, how they perform. Adjustments, options, driving elements, magnetic materials, uh, it's really good. Exchangeability of registers, an uh, analog register or a pointer register can be fitted. Or, or actually I should call it a cyclometer. So. We've got the Sangamo, we've got the real thing here. This is one X Vitamata electric power board. A couple of other ones here. 
These were the later ones of the series that were made 1983-1984. They got the white decimals and uh, not the red decimals I saw in the newer 1988 version. Here is a sideways view of the meter. The orange gear train is usually for the 166.6 revolutions per kilowatt hour, while the grey ones are for the 250 revs for the S216 version. We've got the meter outside. It's natural light, it's always the best for making videos. This meter is 230 volts, 166 to 3rd revolutions. 20 ampere base load, 20 80 ampere maximum. One phase, two wires, class 2.0, 50 hertz. Here you can see the meshing of the worm drive, and the meshing should be set at about 50%, 60%, but uh, not too hard, otherwise uh, the meter will uh, not run measure accurately. So yeah. And the disc spins around, so there is a bit of space between the worm drive and the gear train itself. I run the meter through its full cycle of 10 units, so you can visualize how the numbers flick over. So we start at 0, 0. The right hand digit, uh, red numbers, is the decimal. The left one is the two units. And the first black one with white numbers is the units on the big dial. And you see it stops here for about one unit, till about two, four and then it picks up the black numbers. Um, the reason for that is to get the counterweight in position for the flip over for the tens. So we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. Keep going seven, eight, nine. Now we get the interesting moment. Six, nine, eight, nine, nine. There we go, 40. Click, it goes over. So that particular moment, it flicks in the tens, so it gives two numbers on the big uh, dials, really. So there's a counter gravity weight in the number drum. So we've got seven number wheels stacked on one spindle. Uh, between the two white drums there is a gear, intermediate gear, and between the black numbers there are four Geneva movements. As we can see on this register, some of these registers are made from see-through plastic, which is quite cool. While the oil all the versions they are made from aluminium. So that's the layout, Geneva's. There we go. This information, a Chucky for Wayne uh, boombox deluxe. You might be interested in this uh, regarding the S200 meter, Amendment 1. Issue August 1962, Enfield, Middlesex, England. Here's an exploded view from the S207 meter, which is also equipped at some stage with a cyclo dial, which I've never seen. Quite interesting. And the gear train picture of the clock dial, while well, here is the cyclo dial. Really interesting, this detailed information. Some details about the spindle assembly and the float on bearings. And then the register got redesigned to the current version we see on the S216s. That looks like uh, Almost a flip dial that sometimes gets stuck, and that's the addendum 2. You may have to pause the video to read all the text. I hope the camera is picking up the information quite well. Over the page. If 
see it should hold us sideways here. This gives us a overall shot of uh, the weird star. It's hard to see it's very bright light here at the moment in the garden, so I'll show you this. Don't want to make the video too long, but people who are interested in seeing meters will definitely appreciate this. Amazing that in the good old 60s and 70s you could buy all the parts separately for meters. Just amazing. Now we live in a throwaway society. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up now and uh, thanks for watching. That was mainly the Sangamo S231.